We are a little more than two weeks away from Thanksgiving. Hard to believe, yeah. <laughs> so if you're already worried about making your turkey day meal, well, Rhonda Moore says there's a cooking class you might want to take. Good morning. We are going to prepare a turkey for you, but first we have to get started with cutting up some of the ingredients that will go inside the turkey. And joining me now is Joe Dyke, and she is the owner and the chef here. All right, so you're going to cut these into thirds. Okay. Okay. That's right. And you're going to cut these into quarters. Okay. And then what are you going to do with these? Uh, we're going to stuff those inside the turkey. You go ahead and stuff them. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just hand them to you and then right. you stuff them in. So I like to put a combination of citrus and vegetable into the cavity. I do that because I, I like the flavor and the citrus gives it a nice uh, moistness. And don't forget the neck end and you shove something in there mm. and <laughs> give me a, give me, then you want to take some of the herbs okay. and we can also shove those inside. And so this is uh, what you're going to be teaching people at the class. Yes, we go into a little more detail and uh, but we show them how to prepare the birds so they have some confidence and then that's it. So this is great for someone who maybe is preparing Thanksgiving meal for the first time. For the first time. Or yeah. if you're just not that good at it and yeah. you want to get better at it, right? Yeah, you just, <laughs> you just need to have a little confidence, that's all. So this turkey will actually cook for how long? For about three hours. Okay. I start testing the um, temperature um, at um, two and a half hours. You pull that leg apart once it's cooked and you stick your thermometer on the inside of the thigh because the inside cooks slower than the outside. You have a large menu for the class. class. Not only will they be learning how to make turkey, but they'll be making some other things. Now, if you want to take this party food class, it is this Thursday, 6.30 until 8.30, here at the Little City Cooking School in Oakwood. Go to the website to sign up. Back at 8.05, and we'll finish up the turkey and also let you know about the other items on the menu. Back to you guys. A great idea to kind of get some tips. And it's already getting me hungry. <laughs> I know. Thanksgiving right around the corner. A lot of us are going to be spending time in the kitchen. No doubt about that. Rhonda Moore says it doesn't have to be that way, though. She's in the cooking class with an easy-to-make side dish. Good morning. Last hour we were showing you how to prepare the turkey, and so now we're just going to finish it up. And this is Joe Dyke, and she is the owner here. So, what is this that I'm pouring over? This is the just turkey, turkey stock. It, it, you can make it or you can buy it, and you just put a, a stick of butter in there and you pour it over the cheesecloth, and that way you don't have to baste the turkey at all. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, now we're going to make the veggies, yeah, and so what are we going to make? And we're going to start out by putting that butter in the pan, um, and we are making orange glazed ginger carrots. All right. You're going to zest the orange, and I'm going to zest the ginger. Okay, so this class is for making, I'm maybe going to zest this. Okay. <laughs> okay. So this class is for making your Thanksgiving meal. You offer other classes too, and what yes. do people get in the um, class? So in the class, you come and you cook your own four courses, and you eat your four courses, and, uh, and they're in individual portions. And uh, you can bring your own wine, and we have a little lounge you can hang in with your friends. And this cooking school, you've only been open since October, yeah, correct? Yeah, just since October. And what made you decide that you wanted to do this? I just love uh, culinary. I've been training for years and years, and uh, I actually love teaching. And I've so your classes are for beginners and for people they're, who've been doing it for a while, yes, perhaps? Yes, they're for both. Okay, yeah. good. These are cooked carrots, um, and then you can just stir that up. And now you can throw a little bit of salt and pepper in there. Like a pro. There you go, like a pro. <laughs> Give it a little stir, and All right. you're done. Well, if you want to take this class, it's called Party Food Class, and it is this Thursday, 6.30 until 8.30 p.m., here at the Little City Cooking School in Oakwood. Go to the website to sign up for the class. We'll be back at 8.50, and we're going to make the dessert that's on the menu. Back to you guys. Oh, I love dessert. Those, those carrots looked healthy and good, though. <laughs> We're ready for Thanksgiving dinner, no doubt. Some of us are already thinking about what to make for Thanksgiving. How about something simple for dessert? Rhonda Moore is at a cooking school ready to teach you. Good morning. We've been cooking a Thanksgiving meal here at the Little City Cooking School all morning long. We've uh, showed you how to prepare your turkey, also how to make some glazed carrots. Mm. And this is Joe Dyke. I she is the owner here. Now we're going to be making a dessert. What is this? It's called pumpkin spice latte bourbon okay. affogato. Yep. You take two small scoops of ice cream. Just vanilla, regular vanilla. Vanilla is fine. Okay. You can use whatever you like. All right. This is your bourbon. We're going to pour that right on top. 
Hmm, smells strong. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to take some crumbled biscotti. Okay. Now what we have here is actually um, a pumpkin spice latte coffee. Okay. And you can buy it as an instant. And you're just going to take probably three or four spoonfuls of that and pour that over your ice cream. Okay. And it's going to melt your ice cream. Take your two little um, biscottis and stick them in the side to look pretty. And we've All got right. a little handful of Oops. Um, chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> Chocolate espresso beans right there. And you just put these and in And you're going to throw those over top, and that's it. Oh, when people come and take this class, what else will they make? They'll also make um, a, a leek soup, and uh, we'll go into more detail about the turkey, and we'll do carrots, and we'll do Brussels sprouts with pancetta. I think of a Thanksgiving meal as something that's really difficult to do. It's actually very easy because it's one big piece of meat that goes into the oven and as long as you prepare it right um, and cook it properly, you're going to be fine. This dessert looks really, really good and I'm sure that my photographer's going to want to eat it. So yes. we'll, save, we'll <laughs> save this for him. But in the meantime, if you are interested in taking this party food class, it is this Thursday, 6.30 until 8.30 p.m. here at the Little City Cooking School in Oakwood. Go to the website to sign up. Back to you guys. She picked the carrot over the dessert. Do you notice that? Yeah, <laughs> that's not what we would do. I would pick right. the dessert.